Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have the Max Ace Peregrine, and you guys know they come with extra hardware, steel lock bar insert, all the good stuff to make sure you can replace your hardware if anything happens. I love that they do that. So the Max Ace Peregrine, it has ZDP 189 steel. He treated a 64 to 66 HRC. You know, from a lot of companies, we see 66 to 67, so that would be a little bit on the softer side if they're under the 66 mark, but it's still, you know, it's still very, very hard even at 65 so not a big deal there um you should get really really good edge retention and as you can see it is like a jacketed zdp 189 so the core is zdp 189 i'm not sure what the jacket is probably some sort of stainless the handle is a titanium frame lock but instead of being on bearings this is on washers and it actually has a pivot bushing in here which is really cool because the when you when they put a pivot yeah, when they put a pivot bushing in, it makes it where you can tighten up both sides all the way to tight. You usually don't have to adjust it too much, you know, maybe slightly to get the action that you want, but it is a washer action, not a bearing action, which usually Max Ace does multi-row bearing. So, you know, this is something unique from them. Um, titanium milled pocket clip, titanium frame lock. Um, it does have the inlays that are very well done. They're very well placed and you can see they have a little spot right there for a tritium insert, which I need to get. I need to get a tritium. I need to get a bunch of them, man. I have a few knives that do that and I have not put any in yet. T8 hardware all the way around, except for the steel lock bar insert. Thumb stud action. Let's talk about the action. So the thumb stud works great. It has good access to the lock bar, nice and smooth. I will say this whole thing is almost overdone. I'm going to explain. It, it is very well done, but almost to an extent that it backfires. So it is very smooth all the way around. Every edge is chamfered really nicely. It's you know, like knocked down and smoothed out very, very nicely. Now on the lock bar, that feels really good. So good on them for good access to the lock bar. Very smooth, um, good thumb stud action, but it's not a reversible thumb stud action. So you can only do the thumb flick. Now the top flip, this is where they did it too much. They knocked this down way too much. There's no, you might as well not even put any jimping there. There's no jimping there. So do not even consider this to have jimping and it's on washer. So they really missed the ball on this one. Um, like you really have to struggle to get to flip this. Like you have to throw wrist. You cannot do the reach over. It's just entirely way too slick. It almost hurts because it's so slick. There's no traction there. And because it's on washer. So, you know, it's just, it's, you're not going to get that satisfying front flipping action. I don't even know why they put a front flipper on this without bearings. Front flippers don't do well with washers, especially when there, it's a tight frame lock type of action. But Super solid knife, and as long as you don't care about front flipping action, I mean, the, the, the thumb studs work great. It's very ergonomic, hand-meltingly ergonomic. It's going to slice fairly well. It is a little bit on the more robust side, but you're going to have great edge retention. Um, it, you know, it's for Max Ace, it's somewhat of a, an EDCable knife. A lot of Max Ace knives are, are big and bulky and badass, and that's what I love about Max Ace. I love that they are obnoxiously in, insane, <laughs> that they are obnoxiously big and overbuilt. I love that. This is not that, though. This is, it is heavy. You know, it's a good size. It's a full-size knife, but this is going to be a great EDC knife for those that, you know, just want a nice thumb flick in action and want a good solid knife that's going to hold an edge for a long time. And there's a lot of people out there that really like washer action, and this will be right up your alley. Great lockup. Super solid. Sharpening choil and plunge grind is done. Good. Oh, man. Good job. Yeah, good job on that. They started the plunge grind here. It ends here. Tons of life. Plenty of life to sharpen off. So, good job on that. I like ZDP 189. My rock studs have it. And it seems to hold an edge for a very, very long time.
So there you guys go. Just a quick look at it. My my negatives are, I already said, I think the front flipper is just too knocked down and, you know, being washer action, I wish they would have just thrown another thumb stud instead of a front flipper. Get rid of the front flipper, two thumb studs, that's the way it should have been because the front flipper is almost irrelevant. Now, the otherwise, they should have just put better jimping and put bearings in it. But if you're going to have front flipper action, you got to have good traction here. You can't be slippery. And this is very, very slippery. And it's weird. They put they put jimping up here on top. It looks almost like it doesn't exist, right? Like there's nothing up there. But you can see they, they slightly put jimping there. But there's you can't even feel it. Like it's there's nothing. It's not catchy at all. So it's very slippery. Anyways, so that would be my, my biggest complaint is just they should have put better jimping or... You know, they should have put better jipping regardless. No matter what, they should have put better jipping. Or just don't put a front flipper on it. Um, and, you know, if you are going to have a front flipper on it, then it shouldn't be on washers. And if you want it on washers, then you should have put double thumb studs. But anyways, you know, that's just me in my opinion. I think somebody who buys this is going to still like it. You know, it's a solid knife. You're just not going to enjoy the front flipping action. Now, don't forget, guys, if you guys are wanting to check out anything from Max Ace Knives, go use my affiliate link down in the description, but make sure you use the discount code. The discount code is what will make an affiliate, and you get some money off of your purchase, regardless of what you're going to buy from Max Ace's site. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Everything will be linked down in the description. Don't forget to use my discount code. Peace.